Okay, this is our Blood and Guts lap book that we have been putting together all year using Apologia's Anatomy and Physiology. The first part of the book, which if I could do it over again, I would actually make this into one section instead of two. Um, the cells could all go with less than one on one section. But I was learning as I was going and creating this as I went. So we have a lot of different pieces and parts in here. Um, vocabulary, um, things that fold down all throughout this lap book. And this was a student of mine, her name is Frankie. And she kept a really good lap book throughout the year. In fact, that is Frankie. And that was the um, activity that we did for um, create to create edible DNA. Um, we also used different parts of um, other books that have paper models. And I have those listed on the website, um, it, which is schooledinlove.wordpress.com. And this allows you to have all those really cool um, models. This was our skeletal section for lesson um, two. We have lots of things hidden from lots of activities that we've done. And I always included pictures of different um, uh, dissections that we did throughout the year. Next section. I was talking about the muscular system and tendons. We made a hand that moves. Lots of muscular diseases. And this is another model that moves according to the muscle. The next section has to do with the digestive system. We built a model of the teeth, or of a tooth. We also dissected a complete GI tract, as well as many different models. This is how long the intestine is. This was a very activity-rich and activity-based, experimental-based class, which took the entire year. We didn't get through all of the parts, but we did get through most of them. This deals with the kidneys and the bladder. Plenty of paper models to go with everything. The next part is the respiratory system with paper models. This used to go up and down, but it looks like it's got a little weak. Okay. Then we have Next part dealing with both the cardiac system and the blood as well. Oops, this one looks like it needs to be retaped in there, and that's fine. We did a lot of activities. Hope the lungs go over this way. I'll just tuck that in here, and she can, and she can. Um, Tape that back in there. Even more paper models. And a heart model.
plenty of pictures of the different activities and different dissections that the kids did throughout the year. Then we have the nervous system. We made it a beaded nerve, which was a lot of fun. This really was, I think, the biggest lap book on the face of the planet by the time we got done with them. This was when we did the sensory extravaganza. And we had a lot of different activities for the senses. Uh, 14 stations in all. And then an eye chart. Or, I'm sorry, an eye model. We're almost done here. If we had the time, we would have kept going throughout the entire book. But as it was, we ran out of time for the book. This is a skin model. Nice paper model of the skin. And that's it. That is one of the biggest lap books you will ever see in your life. And it all folds up nice and neat.